Hi everyone, welcome back to Show Me How to Win. We're visiting Taipei, Taiwan, and we're in Soso Game Studio. Next to me is Hui. Hui is gonna tell us a little bit about Strange Vending Machine. Hui, what is the idea behind Strange Vending Machine? 呃，就是说，我们去日本秋叶原的时候啊，会发现有一些很奇怪的贩卖机。然后呢，我们就在想说，哎，这些贩卖机，呃，如果把它变成游戏，会是什么样子？所以它就变成这个样子。哦、oh, ，OK， so it was inspired by the strange vending machines in Akihabara, Japan. So there are actually two game modes in this game. The first one is called Muscle Man's Challenge. Hui is the co-designer of this game. I heard that the other designer is the Muscle Man, right? Oh, he is really very strong. He is really strong. He is a engineer, but he usually likes to exercise. Okay, so I guess one of the designer is the Muscle Man. He is an engineer Muscle Man, and that game mode is actually a drafting mode. So this game is up to for three to six players. So one each player will take one of the vending machine here. This is really cool. This component, and you can actually put money from the slot. So you will pick them up, and you will buy the first card on the、uh, vending machine. Your goal is to basically collect. Uh, as many varieties as you can, or be as,、uh, or just pick one color. So either you go for a lot of colors, or no,、uh, just one color, and you try to match、uh, the variety. So depending on what you're going for, the scoring is different. It reminds me a lot about a lot of、uh, Seven Wonders or Sushi Go. But the one that I really like is the second game mode, which is called Ingredients and Recipes of the Mysterious Wizard. And I just call it the Wizard's West Recipe. Okay, so the Wizard's Recipe is a second game mode. So tell me a little bit about it, Hui. 好，就是说，呃，第二个规则就是说，这个巫师的版本里面呢，每个玩家呢，就是，呃，你要尽可能的去，呃，透过买东西这件事情去得分。然后你你你游戏过程中，你最后只能买五张牌。那这五个五个牌上面呢，都会有一个一个 item 跟一个 recipe， 就是告诉你说游戏最后你怎么得分。所以你在买的时候要很很小心注意。Okay, so in the second game mode, we still use the six different、um, vending machines, but I'm not sure if you can see there are actually two different decks for two different mode. So you will switch to a different deck, and in this deck. You will see the front of the vending machine shows you the type of the goods, but it doesn't show you what it requires. You actually have to go find another card to complete the recipe, the wizard's recipe. Yay! So, because if you don't, you won't get any points. But your opponents don't know、uh, about what recipes you're looking for, and you can only get up to five cards. So,、uh, you ha really have to be careful what you purchase. So, Hui, give me a little bit of a tips on how to win at Wizard's recipe. 好，呃，就是说，呃，因为你只有五张牌可以买，所以说呢，你必须要非常的专注买特定的牌。但是要注意一件事情，就是说，你也不能够太专注的买，因为呃，其他玩家就会很容易发现你在收集什么。所以说呢，游戏当中大概你就是买一些，但是你要适时的去买别的东西，才能让你的呃对手呢不发现你的策略。Okay, so. Be careful. Try to focus on what you want to buy, but try to not let your opponent block you. What What happens when we run out of money? Uh, 你钱用完的时候呢，你就可以把总总之你用你钱用完的时候呢，你可以把贩卖机里面的钱倒出来。那呃，我们游戏中会有两个动作，第一个就是花钱买东西嘛。那第二个动作就是说，如果你没有钱的时候，你可以把摇一摇，然后呢，把钱从里面倒出来，然后确定哎有倒干净，好，再把它放回去，<笑>那就有钱可以倒呃买新的牌了。But we have to watch out. There are counterfeit money in this game. 对，就是说你随着游戏进行呢，钱会越来越多，但是你要注意一件事情哦，因为我们游戏中会有假币。所以说假币的部分呢，就是说你你那个很多钱的东西，可能里面会有假币。那假币游戏最后会有扣分，所以说你会获得到很多钱，但是假币会影响你最后的分数。Yeah, it's really hard to tell between the counterfeit money and the real money. They're very similar in color, slightly different. You might not even be able to tell from、uh, the screen, but the fake money, the counterfeit, is slightly more pink and. 
Hui told me at the beginning of the game, everybody gets like a certain amount of coins. You take what you want. So some people might be grabbing like just a whole bunch of counterfeit money, but it's actually negative points at the end of the game, right? So um, there has to be something about the counterfeit money that I can play with, right? So, yeah. so give me a tip about that. 呃，我知道，就是说我们在玩的时候，很多人都喜欢拿，呃，就是。就是很多人喜欢拿钱，所以说要注意一件事情，就是说，第一个，你在游戏中你要注意哪一个贩卖机钱可能最多。好，那接下来是说，你要注意一件事情，就是说，你可能不能够拿那个钱最多的贩卖机，因为有可能它里面就是装满了假币。所以说，这当中你要适当的去分辨，甚至是去观察你的对手的手势，因为呃，每个人投钱可能你注意一下，哎、欸，如果他有一点呃粉红色的人，他就可能在投假钱，你要小心。Mm, so you gotta watch out for the gesture of how people put the money in, and the one with the most money is not necessarily the best one because it probably has the most counterfeit money, and it's actually the most negative point. So when you take the money, you have to be careful. So those are two very good tips. Thank you so much, Hui, for showing me how to win at Strange Vending Machine. Looking forward to seeing this at Essen, and maybe I can find this somewhere online in the U.S. Right? Uh, 对，我们现在正在呃。找各种可能的机会。<laughs> well, looking forward to playing this one. If you have a chance to check it out, SM, please do. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Wei, for showing us how to win at this. Bye, guys.